Objection! We haven't started yet, Nelly. Overruled! Nelly Cootalot, you stand charged of cat burglary by proxy. How do you plead? Didn't do it, Your Honour. Also, not 100% sure what by proxy means. The case for the prosecution will now be presented by Mr. Van Zandt. He's the one! Order! But he... Your Honour, these interruptions are slowing proceedings. Look! He's got your stolen pocket Order! Order, I say! Miss Coutelot, you will contain these outbursts. Limit yourself to answering the prosecution's questions. Mr. Van Zandt? Your Honour, I will now establish that the accused had the means to mastermind these thefts. Very well. Ms. Coutelot, you have a history with the cat burglar, do you not? You have used him before in your piratical adventures. Trespass, theft, and the assault of an innocent dog, I believe. Crimes committed by this cat burglar on your behalf. I see you have lots of time on your hands for research. Time? Hands? Uh, what? Objection. The accused is engaging in irrelevant conjecture. Uh, upheld. Move on to your next point, Van Zandt. Next, I will establish that the accused has the motive to commit these heinous thefts. Proceed. Ms. Coutelot, is it not true that you are a pirate? A greedy kleptomaniac who takes anything that isn't nailed down? That you are, in short, a prolific and notorious criminal? So what if I've pocketed a few knickknacks? I'm not the only one, am I? Eh? Pocketed knickknacks? Hmm? Objection. She is evading the question. Uh, very well. The next question, Mr. Van Zandt. If it please the court, I will now establish that the accused had the opportunity to perpetrate these thefts. Go on. The cat burglar's hideout was a treehouse in Calder Cops. The accused was witnessed entering said treehouse today. Entering and leaving, handling stolen goods. She was preparing to get away by airship, taking our belongings with her. Looks like you've been keeping a watch on me. Keeping a watch? Uh, objection. Miss Coutelot is the one on trial here. Now, now, hold on a moment. I want to see what Miss Coutelot is getting at. Your Honour. Uh, Miss Coutelot, please proceed. How tiresome. You want the truth? Yes. You want the truth? I just said yes. Harbour Master Van Zandt is handling the truth. Justice Groat's stolen pocket watch. My goodness, she's right. Stolen by the cat burglar, an innocent tool of Van Zandt. He's your thief. This is an outrage. Justice Groat, please. Silence. Your Honour, I move that Van Zandt be clapped in irons. That the cat burglar be pardoned and released into my custody. And Hetty Lohman be reinstated as harbour master. So shall it be done. This court finds the defendant not guilty. Yeah. Anchors away. Rackham, are we getting a reading from your bird detector? Oh, yes. Yes, Captain Nelly. Bearing 55 degrees north, 25 degrees west. Why, that's the Isle of Gloomholm. Then plot a course to Gloomholm. Aye, aye, Captain.
Nelly, I just discovered some of the rations are missing. I think we might have a, a... What do you call a person hiding on a ship? A stowaway. Yes, thank you. A stowaway. A stowaway? A stowaway, eh? Sebastian, you check the forecastle. Mr. Leah, you search the hold. Mr. Rackham, check the cabins. I'll search the bridge and we'll meet back here at this wardrobe. Wait a minute. I think this is technically an armoire. Professor Morgan! I'm truly sorry I sneaked aboard, Nellie. I just wanted to study the, uh, nautical lore of the Northlands. A likely story. By which I mean, it is not likely. I ought to... Ship off the bow! It's surrounded by wildfowl. Wide beard. I'll deal with you later, Professor. Sebastian and I have an enemy ship to infiltrate. Mr. Lear, drop the rope ladder. We'd better be quick. Gloomholm is in sight. I think the Baron's asleep. <laughs> ptarmigans. Of course. The Gloomholm ptarmigans must be guarding Bloodbeard's treasure. Why Beard's going to make his foul fleet attack them? Don't worry, my hypnotized friends. I'll save you. Shh, Nelly. Gloom home. Less homey, more gloomy. No, my work is in here. Is that ptarmigan a mod? Milk, eggs, syrup. Sounds like someone's cooking up a mess of evil pancakes. I'm not doing his shopping for him. It's Widebeard's evil bedside cabinet. Probably contains evil toenail clippers and evil phone chargers. Now, but dust. It's a model of planet Earth, but smaller. Never trust someone with a four-poster bed. It's Baron Widebeard's henchman in some kind of trance. Ah, El Mono must be controlling the birds with his magical powers. I just have to interrupt the spell. A massive kick ought to do the trick. What? Be careful, Nelly. Don't worry. He's very safe when he's in a trance. No, what do I mean? Dangerous. Nelly! Sebastian! Ah, the plan is working. What plan? The plan. To take down El Mono's hypnotic spell from the inside. Ah, I thought the plan was kicking him. It is. A good hard kick in the subconscious. But I thought, oh. What's wrong? Nelly, I don't feel very... Oh. Sebastian? Sebastian, stop that immediately. Hey, El Mono, give him back. Right. No one turns my friend into a balloon and gets away with it. The boardwalk crumbles away to nothing. I'm not sure the floating planks would hold my weight, or whether I have any weight here. Either way, they're creeping me out. That's the door to the Hall of Memories. This Hall of Memories seems strangely empty.
That's the door to the Chamber of Horrors. Hey, you wanna play a game, Redhead? A giant orange in a poncho. Hmm. I think El Naranka here must be the embodiment of El Mono's darkest fear. That monkey's messed up. Hey there, little lady. Hey, you wanna play a game, Redhead? Stay away from me, you citric creep. Let's give this a try. Yes! Adios. I think I've just exercised El Mono's greatest fear. A dubious looking hombre in a straw hat. A steam powered barrel organ. A familiar looking monkey. A three-legged card table. I don't see a reason to fiddle with it. Stand back, lady. He works for me and he does bite. Step right up, step right up. Find the lady, win your freedom. Who's the monkey? He's nobody. I'm the organ grinder. He dances to my tune. Step right up. Find the lady. Sure thing. Find the Queen of Hearts, win a prize. Wanna play? Okay. Then let's play Three Card Monkey. The house always wins. Cheat! El Mono did something. He cheated. You're crazy, lady. He was doing a happy dance. You messed with the cards, you lousy cheat. Great. More dancing. Let's have a look. Ah, I see the problem. There's an old rag jamming part of the mechanism. There. That ought to change El Mono's tune. Let's... Step right up, step right up. Find the lady, win your freedom. Find the lady. Wanna play? Okay. Then let's play Three Card Monkey. I win! Hey, what's the deal here, you dumb ape? Hey, I thought we was partners. Hey! I think I just stopped El Mono working for the man. El Mono is falling off a bridge. There's a small sad figure left behind. El Mono has landed in the wagon of a freight train. It's full of oranges. A bolt of lightning strikes El Mono in the orange wagon. I can't touch them. There's a velvet rope. El Mono working as an advertising mascot for a tobacco company. 
it's El Mono causing a stock market crash through reckless profiteering. I mean, it's hard to tell exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It looks like El Mono signing up to work with Baron Widebeard. Very bad. A disgustingly sweet little girl. They seem to be stuffed El Mono toys. It's one of those grabby crane claw games. Hello, little girl. Are you lost? <laughs> no! Well, I am, quite badly. Do you know where the fire exit is? What are you doing here? I'm trying to get a teddy monkey. Teddy monkey? Oh, you mean one of those stuffed El Mono toys? See. Si. How do you get one of those El Monos? You have to solve the thing. A riddle? Is it the who walks on four legs in the morning one? Because I know that guy. No, the grabby, grabby hand. I've also met that guy. No, the picking claw. Oh, I see. I'll help you in the game. You will? Thanks. Right then. You won! There you go. Oh, thank you. I love him. I'm going to love him forever and ever and ever. All right, don't overdo it. I think I just reminded El Mono about the love of his life. I think I understand El Mono now used to belong to a little girl. They loved each other until they were separated by a terrible accident and El Mono was struck by lightning in an orange wagon. After that, El Mono forgot about the little girl and entered a life of shame. He started working as Baron Widebeard's shamanic henchman. Isn't it time you did the right thing, El Mono? You don't have to attack the Gloomholm Ptarmigans. Mono, call off the foul fleet and end this now. Safe journey. No more hypnotizing now, you hear? The wide beards are on their way to somewhere they can do no harm. I locked them in the Santiana's brig myself. Good work, Sebastian. You're very good with doors, for a bird. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I've got a few questions for you, Brad. We ptarmigans are in your debt, Nelly. You have averted feathery carnage. Ah, it was knee bother. Ask your questions, and I will answer. What actually is Bloodbeard's treasure exactly? Don't you know? It's an object of great power and importance to William, envied by none more than his brother, Baron Whitebeard. But you, you are the one to recover it. Wow. But what actually, exactly, actually is it? We don't know. 
So how can I recover the treasure? On Bloodbeard's last voyage, the Sweet Mary was hit by a fearful snowstorm. Tell me about it. I was swept off deck. A terrible wind wrecked the ship, in the crater of an extinct volcano. Germain, please point to the volcano. Its icy slopes cannot be scaled, but there is a legend among the people of Gloomholm that old geezer will one day take a hero into the heart of the volcano. Who? Germain, please point at the geezer. If you fulfill the prophecy, that geezer will carry you to the treasure. What's the prophecy? Legend says that old geezer awaits a hero, a hero with the soul of a warrior, the spirit of a huntsman, and the will of a wise man. If you have those things, the geezer will lead you deep into the heart of the volcano. Sounds great. What can you tell me about Gloomholm? It can be a cold and hard place. You will meet good people and bad, but take care near the forest, for the abominable snowbird walks in the pines. The abominable snowbird? That's just a myth. It is real and deadly. Even the brave ptarmigans shudder when we hear its dread cry. Sorry, I thought it was going to cry in the distance or something. Me too. There it is. Ooh. Who's that guy you're sitting on? How rude of me. This is Jermaine, my personal assistant. Hello. He's very good at getting things off high shelves. What a good idea. I might get one. Bye. Good luck. Do you like having Brad on your shoulder all the time? Ah, uh, it's a living. What do you do when he needs to, you know, go? I prefer not to talk about that. Good luck on your quest, Nelly. <laughs>